Hi, I'm Matthew Burchette, and today on this episode of Curator on the Loose, we're gonna do something really cool. I bet you didn't know, every year we have a group of auto detailers that come in and polish our planes for us, and they take amazing care of us. And today, we're gonna find out exactly what happens while they're here. All right, we are here with Riddy Doyle, and he is the mastermind behind the Detail Mafia. Riddy, how you doing? Good this to makes you, 20, years 20 years of the Detail Mafia coming to the Museum of Flight. All right, first off, I gotta ask, what is the Detail Mafia? So, so, so a lot of people <laughs> ask that. Uh, so you know what? It's when we first started this, Detail Mafia didn't exist. It, it uh, I was just a guy coming up trying to feed his family. Joe Clark, Aviation Partners, yeah. uh, brought me up from Sun Valley, Idaho. Um, he was really involved, you know, in the museum. And uh, we just did it as a company, you know, back then, and as patriots and, and uh, as technicians. Uh, so flash forward, after this project, this project really, it, it, it brought my career to a whole different level. It got a lot of eyes on it. And so we got a lot of requests to train and mentor coach people. Oh, nice. And so we started that process and, uh, 2005 and in 2008 we brought a, a uh, wasn't just our team anymore it wasn't our company is I decided to bring us a, a few students a few of them that are here you might even talk to today and 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 somebody I my my, my grandfather was in the mafia so he was in the <laughs> Dipolito family yep he was a, he was a, he was a made guy he's a capo wow uh, and so I was telling that so and somebody said so he said that, you know we're almost like your your family heritage it's almost like you know, we're the detail mafia, yeah. and it kind of, and then it, and then it, reporters would would ask about that, and it kind of was a, a joke at first, <laughs> and then it started sticking, and so all these professionals, these men and women you see here now, is they've all come through our advanced training, and so five days with us, seventy hours, wow, uh, and so we train, coach, we mentor each other, uh, and a lot of entrepreneurs, you know, very successful business owners. And so the Mafia is just an independent group of men and women entrepreneurs. It's a think tank, but we're real passionate about what we yeah. do. Yeah, I, I gotta be honest with you. It shows in mm -hmm. everything you do. Thank I mean, you. I was looking at the B-29 just a couple okay. of days ago, and the difference is night and day. Night and day. Night it's and day. just amazing. It looks like it literally rolled right out of the factory. You know, it's a labor of love. We love the Museum of Flight. This is a one of a kind. Yeah. Riddy, thank hey, you so much. Lot. It's great talking yeah, to you. Yeah, I'm sure you're busy. We're, we're going. So yeah, you're thank, rocking and rolling. Time. All right. We'll see you next time. We'll see you. See ya. Now, Bob, tell me your role in the Detail Mafia and are you made? Uh, I am a made member. My brother and I own a chemical manufacturing business. So uh, okay. it was a kind of a unique situation when we came to the Detail Mafia. Nice. Um, it, and for us, it was really never about our product or our brand. Um, it was really about just improving our business, just like mafia members. Yeah. Yeah. So that, and to improve our detailing technique and to be current, that was okay. really the vision. And then, you know, fast forward to now, we're one of the sponsors of this event. That is awesome. And totally thrilled to be that. What goes in to developing these chemicals that are safe for automotive finishes, for aircraft finishes? Yeah. So a lot of them transfer over, but okay. then some of them, you know, like the metal polish is very unique yeah. to this plane, right? Uh, my brother actually formulated up a specific polish to use on Air Force One this year <laughs> because way. he's been here a couple times, so he knows kind of the paint, yeah. you know, and since it's a piece of history, we want something really mild that, you know, doesn't remove too much paint, but, you know, gives it a nice shine, yeah. but also very easy for the detailers to use. So, um. yeah. Can we see some of your products in action? You can. All right, we're here with Shane Mayfield, and this is Air Force One. Shane, thank you so much for being here. Yeah, now, absolutely. you've been a member of the Mafia for about five years now? Yeah, that's correct. I'm one of the master detailers here. In awesome. Area. So, can you kind of tell us what's going on? Obviously, they're, they're taping off the paint because they're going to do what's called bright work yeah exactly so okay. they're going to they're going to take multiple steps to polish the aluminum to bring it to its maximum potential all right so 
how does that happen? Yeah, so we start with a decontamination treatment, which is essentially washing all the metal to make sure that it's clean and decontaminated. Okay. And then from there, it's multiple steps of abrasive from more aggressive to least aggressive until we refine the finish to about a mirror finish. Wow. Now, how does that how does that work? I mean, are you using, is that all by hand? No, it's all with uh, forced action or um, different types of machines, depending on how the metal reacts. So we do, we do what we call test spots, and we do those with different machines, different pads, and different products. And then from there, we determine which one works best. And then, and then we take those multiple steps, like I was talking about earlier, to, to get that maximum finish. So you're using like an orbital sander? Right, Not correct. Sander, we, we, call them for, we call them forced rotation, uh, DAs, dual action polishers. Oh, okay. Yeah, absolutely. Now, when it's dual action, what is it? Is it going in a circle or is it just random or what's going on? So dual action means that it oscillates in a circle and oscillates up and down at the same time. So um, what it does is it ha uh, some polishers have an eight millimeter, what we call an eight millimeter throw to a six millimeter throw. So that means as they're circulating, they're also moving up and down as they're going. And what that does is creating what we call cut or, or uh, going into the finish and removing any kind of imperfections in, in the finish. And then uh, we, as we go up in finer abrasive to make the finish shine, we, we give it less of a throw. So as we go up, it goes from an eight millimeter down to maybe a four millimeter. So that so that what we call it is the tighter the finish, the better the look. Paint is a totally different factor because it's different substrates of, of material that you're working with, whereas aluminum is just raw. And so, so you just have to play with it as it reacts. Like as it gets warmer, they'll change their process, their product, how fast they move, all that kind of stuff. Wow. So, yeah. So you really have to know what you're doing. Absolutely, yeah. So yeah. I would not be the one to just jump in there and start you, going. Yeah, you would come. You would come in as as a guy who you know we would start you on polishing paint, and then we would slowly work you into aluminum once we see your skill set and your level, and then we we even pull guys aside and kind of teach them as we go. Oh, nice. Like that. So yeah. All right. Life goals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
we're working with five or six of us on our group, and you get to bond with those guys so closely. That's really cool. Yeah. Speaking of bonding in a team, one of the things I noticed is there were a couple guys working on the gear pod, the engine pod down there, okay. yep. and they were doing like their own synchronized. Yes. What's so that about? Yesterday, if you were here, you would have seen that as a team, there were four or five of us together, shoulder to shoulder. You want to make sure that you maintain the same speed so you're creating the same pattern on the aluminum. So same pressure, same speed of the tool, and same speed and movement so that it's all uniform. Is that so? Who came up with that? I think they've been doing that for years. Just for years? Yeah, it just made sense. Because if you have, if you and I are working apart and kind of come together, you'll end up with what we call like patchwork or quilt work. Yeah. So yours will look a little different if you're doing a different speed, whether it's the speed of the tool, the speed of the arm movement. Wow. So you want to make sure it's all the same. So we just stand really close to one another. Again, the bonding. Right? Yeah. You don't have a choice <laughs> yeah. then. Yeah. Uh, and, and you just kind of make sure that you're doing a large area as a team together. That's really cool. Yeah, and then moving down the plane. That could be like an Olympic sport. It could be. And it's fun to watch. And here's Team USA <laughs> going after a, a gold in plane polishing. That's right. You know, uh, four years ago, they got the silver. It was a little disappointing, but uh, we're, we're coming back this year. Silver's all right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Who would have thunk that all this detail <laughs> comes into detailing airplanes? All the rags, all the different polishes, all that different metal and paint that they have to deal with. The Detail Mafia is amazing, and we are so happy to have the men and women of that group here every year. And this little behind the scenes story, we hope, will give you a better idea of what goes in to keeping our planes looking so good. It's a little bit crazy around here because everybody's still working, but we are gonna kick out of here. But you guys stay in touch on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, whatever you wanna do, because you never know where we're gonna be next. Yeah.